that I too, my least favorite thing will has always been and will forever be the negotiating. Um, one thing I'd, I'd like to share on that note is, um, I, I've said this before, but I secretly produce commercials in order to support my documentary habit. And what I found is there's a lot of amazingly talented people that do big movies and, and, and commercials and DPs that make $5,000 a day no matter what, that if you ask them, they secretly have always wanted to work on a documentary. So I found that in some situations that, don't, th that doesn't work because there are some unique skills that you have to have as a documentary shooter in order to do true, natural, amazing verite. And you almost have a sixth sense of where the action is. And some feature and you know, commercial music video or episodic people don't necessarily have that. But some of them can do both. And I've been really surprised that, you know, the times that I'm like, oh, I'm just going to, you know, he just did this massive movie, but I'm just going to ask. And they're like, oh, I would love to do that. Because a, a lot of times everyone's, you know, is the same thing I was saying earlier. You're just dying to make a difference. It feels so hard to make a difference. And even if you can contribute a day here or a day there, um, I, I've had, you know, really good luck at asking. And as much as I try, um, on the other side, you know, I rarely get to pay. And, and I've had some decently funded documentaries, but when they've been decently funded, we're doing 75 shoot days, you know, or something insane. And I still can't pay people, you know, what I'd, what I'd like to pay them. Um, yesterday, I paid my sound guy and cameraman um, uh, each in a homemade loaf of banana bread. Perfect. Wait, you Perfect. gave each of them a loaf? Yes. 